And we're back in the house. So we got a nice thermostat. Totally dead. So let's go find the furnace, see what's going on. So here we go. <laughs> Alrighty then, so it looks like I got no power to the control board. So we want to go ahead and see if we have high voltage coming in. Uh, so this is a carrier product. So this is going to be our line input here and then a neutral. So let me get set up for that. Alright, so we have high voltage. So we may have a burnt fuse. Alright, so we're checking R to C. I got nothing. Let's see, we got a fuse. Yep, that's burnt. We got our little popper installed and everything powered up. So we're going to cycle everything and see if we can find what caused our short. All right, so this is, I think, either a Gen 1 or a Gen 2 Nest thermostat. So I don't want to wait for four and a half minutes. So we push the button, we go to settings, and then we're going to find equipment. Ah, here it is. Okay, continue and then test. Now this is set up as heat pump as stage one and then gas furnace as stage two. So we're gonna go ahead and try heat pump heating first. And it's gonna make us wait in a minute and a half. So we'll be back. All right, so we got a few, two seconds. Here we go, see what happens. All right, so it's calling for G and Y1, which should be turning on our heat pump heat. Hmm. I don't hear the fan, let's go to the furnace and see what's up. All right, so we should be getting a call for Y1 and G. I got nothing on Y1, and I got nothing on G. So the thermostat is not calling. Let's go double check the thermostat. Okay, so according to this, it is calling, uh, but it's actually not. Let's go ahead and try the alternative heating. So that's gonna call for W. So let's go check that. Okay, so it is calling for W. Yeah, we do have the call. Heating is coming on. So that's weird that Y is not doing anything. All right, so it looks like that one's working. Let's go ahead and try G. All right, so we're calling for G, so we should be getting 24 volts to G. All right, so it should be calling for cooling, so we should get Y1, uh, O, and G. See what happens. All right, appears to be functional. Oh, the fan turned on from what I could hear and then shut off. Let's go to look at the unit. So that I have my, so yeah, it's pulling high amps. That was on, on max. So when it was calling, it maxed out there and then reset itself. So I have no call. So we have 0.4 right now. So it looks like we have an issue with the Y terminal. Yeah, because now I'm not getting the call for it. All right, cool. So now we got that figured out. Let's go check our condenser. So it seems like our everything's working except anything that has to do with the outdoor unit. So let's go look at the outdoor unit. Okay, so obviously we have a short somewhere, a low voltage short. Um, so it could potentially be one of the pressure switches shorting out on something down there possible so we need to go ahead and check that but first things first we're going to isolate so i'm going to unplug this plug here that will completely just separate everything from the outdoor unit so i'm going to try calling from the thermostat and if it works then we know that the issue is out here so we just unplug unpl this guy right here <clears throat> and these are all connected directly to the thermostat wire so pretty much from here to the furnace to the uh to the um thermostat if everything works then we know it's something out here so it's just a process of elimination and then we'll do the same thing we'll start testing the pressure switches and whatnot and see if we can find a short uh, but i've isolated the whole outdoor unit from the entire low voltage system so uh, it should now work normally so let's go check all right i'm calling for a heat pump cooling so we have g and y that's weird how come there's no o well anyway let's go see all right so we got a call now for Y, and we have a call for G. Yeah, so our problem is outside, so now we gotta find our issue. Okay, so now we know that our problem is out here. So now we just gotta, you know, check the obvious spots. 
so what we can do is we can go ahead and start ohming things out um, or what we can do is we can um, and this is definitely what caused the fuse to blow uh, the popper it's a little bit more forgiving so it takes a while for it to pop so I think that's why it didn't pop but it just caused the thermostat to mess up so we're gonna go ahead and find our pressure switch wires and we're gonna see if maybe those are grounded to um, if they're shorted to ground and then we'll kind of work our way there and then eventually we'll plug this back in and call and then uh, yeah and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure our contactor isn't shorted as well okay so we got one pro on ground and then we have our pressure switch here and that we want to see if that is um, shorted to ground which it isn't so that's a good sign uh, now we want to check uh, the other one which I think is the pink one oh, that's our defrost stat okay cool so it looks like that's our whole circuit here oh, okay here we go here's another one so we're gonna go ahead and check these two circuits okay that one's also good so nothing's grounded uh, let's go ahead and check this is going to the contactor so let's see if the contactor is possibly grounded mm, doesn't appear to be so all right that's good all right that's going to the contactor right yeah mm -hmm. all right cool so we might have a bad coil so let's go ahead and check out this coil okay so I didn't find anything but then when I plugged everything back in the contactor is closing because uh, I have that plugged back in and watch check this out see so there's a wire that's shorting the ground in there somewhere it's just a matter of finding out which one it is see now it's now it's not closing okay so it looks like this wire was rubbing up against this and it shorted to ground and so when I was moving it it wasn't touching anymore so we got that covered in some electrical tape and I have it moved out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on. Uh, as you can see, I plugged everything back in. Contactor staying closed. So we'll try this again. Alrighty, she's all back up and running. Uh, so yeah, it was all because of that short. So anytime it called for the outdoor unit, it would uh, short out and it blew the fuse. Uh, and so the people are in Canada that own this spot and they basically were getting an offline uh, notification from their thermostat so that's why they called us out and sure enough it wasn't heating because the low voltage system had been knocked out so anyway hopefully this helps you out if you come across a situation where you happen to find a short it's all about isolating the possibility of where it is and uh, you know checking the amp draw on your low voltage circuit you can really tell what's causing it so you saw that we had like over six amps and that fuse is a three amp so it blew the fuse oh by the way i did put a new fuse in there so anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, Tim, what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you want to support channels, visit my tool store and get some tools. Or get some work socks from Camel City Mill. Thanks for watching.